Hello everyone. I'm just going to go through and do a quick tutorial on how to do your diagrams a little bit easier with regards to your gears reports. If everybody uses the link that I've sent out through email, it'll pull up this map, whether you're using a MDT or if you're using the computers at the office. What you're going to want to do is on this map, zoom in to the area where the impact occurred. Right here, we're going to use the C4 roundabout over here by the internal kiosk. What you want to do is take the place where the actual impact occurred and center that in the middle of your screen. After you're happy with the placement of your, of your layout there for your map, you can click on the print icon in the top left corner there. This little window will pop up. Again, you're going to hit print. After that, it's going to process the image for that screen capture, if you will. Once it's done processing, click on it, and it'll open up the image. You're going to need to save this image, so you'll right-click on it, hit Save As, name it whatever you want to, and then after that, it'll save it to your Downloads folder. You can see there that it's, it's saved it as Diagram JPG. That's what I saved it as. You're going to want to open this up. And you're going to need to hit the edit portion for the image. I found that this, this image, the way that it currently prints, it, it prints kind of washed out whenever you try to give it to a client. So you just simply hit adjust and tune the light portion down where it makes the image darker. This will be perfect. Anything 75% or less on there, as far as the darkness scale, if you will, will be fine. After that, just save the image. And now you're ready to go into your diagram for Easy Street. So you open up your gears, click on Diagram, and then click Add ESD Diagram. Once it loads, you'll go to your second tab next to your Home tab. It says Draw. You can click on the icon next to Add Image. After that, you'll have the opportunity to go ahead and add the image that you found or that you saved previously as your base layer. From there, all you have to do is go ahead and add whatever type of vehicles you want to put on there. For this one, we're going to have two semi-trucks. Obviously, you can still articulate these different icons and whatnot however you need to. You can scale them up and down based on the size and placement of your diagram. I'll go ahead and do a copy and paste on this one. And we'll put this one just behind it and we'll have this one as vehicle one. Again, being able to art articulate the, the trailers and whatnot to match the, the map itself or the diagram. Now, granted, even though the map itself, the base layer, is technically to scale based on uh, the, the maps and everything that are provided by our engineering department at GPA, the vehicles themselves technically are not, so you still need to put the not to scale portion in there and make sure that that's on your diagram still. Uh, the north area, as far as the maps go, everything is oriented north, so all you have to do is drag and drop your north. As long as it's pointing upwards, you're fine, because that's where it's going to be for default. But here you're going to put your, your point of impact indicator there, for your arrow and also your marker. Label your vehicles number one and two. We can do just a simple copy and paste onto this real quick. Edit the text.
And again, like I said previously, put the knot to scale on there. And then also the north arrow indicator. Don't forget you also need to put in your street names. Got that one. Now we'll do one for cross terminal road. Edit the text on this one. After that, you're done. Go ahead and click Save Diagram. And that's it. It's already loaded in there for you. As much detail as you could possibly want. And it's ready to go. And we'll just show you a quick image of, the, of what the final product would be. If somebody were to come and request it. And there it is. There's your diagram. I hope this helps everybody out. If you have any kind of major complications or concerns, please feel free to rewind this video and look over it again. Uh, or if you need to, to reach out, uh, again, this is Officer Akers, so feel free to, to give me a shout, either through email or just give me a call. One of the two. Hope you all have a great day.